Hello, trading friends, and welcome back to Forex Focus brought to you by IG, taking a look at gold prices and the potential effect on US dollar here today with gold smashing 2200, a new all time high for gold futures. Uh, gold prices on the ascent again uh, after the most recent round of central bank meetings in the US, in the UK, uh, across the globe. Um, and we'll talk about why gold prices are heading higher off of some of that interest rate talk and how that could affect this US dollar in just a second. But let's start with the gold price action itself because it has been a crazy run. And we spent the last week or two leading up to the Fed and the Bank of England, the Bank of Japan, um, kind of uh, chilling out between 2150 and 2200, wondering when that next uh, big move, either to the upside or downside, might come. And we had a relatively dovish Fed um, and a relatively dovish Bank of England and that caused uh, an intraday spike in gold prices uh, here, especially in the hours following the uh, Fed meeting of gold prices uh, north of 2200. And it, it, it makes sense uh, when you throw in these correlations, right? The, the fact that gold and uh, we have the 10 year yield, which is a, a, a really good benchmark for US interest rates. Um, though it's not technically what the Fed controls, but very much influenced by Fed activity. Uh, you, you see this correlation, and it is consistently negative, which is to say if uh, interest rates are moving higher in the U.S., gold prices historically have lo moved lower, and vice versa, kind of what we're seeing right now, which is gold prices moving higher and U.S. interest rates potentially moving lower. Um, and so not a, a huge surprise to find a dovish Fed and the potential for interest rates to move lower and gold prices moving through highs. But th there's some pretty significant highs. And the elephant in the room is the fact that interest rates haven't actually technically moved lower in the U.S. quite yet. You might ask, how is gold at all time highs? If the Fed still has interest rates, I just saw at their March meeting, they're holding interest rates at five and a half percent. Well, the market is expecting, as well as the Fed members themselves are expecting interest rates to move lower as soon as this year. And then in the long term, uh, the next you know three to five years, they're expecting these interest rates to be below three percent. As you can see, all those dots account for a Fed member vote of where they think interest rates should be and the bulk of them in that longer run, around two and a half percent. And so uh, significantly lower than uh, the current rates at five and a half percent, which the non-interest bearing gold market has liked, hence those $2,200 prices that gold futures have seen recently. Um, and, and you might imagine, okay, well, man, if US rates are moving lower, gold prices are moving higher, this US dollar has to be getting spanked. Well, we actually haven't seen so much of that. US dollar, though it did move lower the day of the FOMC, um, in most major pairs, US dollar was uh, moving lower on that day, March 20th. The day following, significant bounce back in this US dollar across the board. I mean, especially looking at gains uh, of 120 pips against the pound, uh, a huge 1.3% rally in dollar against the Swiss franc. That's a huge one. Um, and and a, a whole bunch of other examples of pretty significant dollar bounce back after that dovish Fed. And that's because this you know, gold interest rates, Forex um, relationship isn't necessarily, you know, okay, US interest rates and currencies have to be moving the same direction all the time. And that has to be the opposition to gold because the, the middleman, so to speak, is the fact that Forex is a game of relativity against other currencies, right? And so though we have the red correlation, like you would expect of uh, gold being negatively correlated to US dollars, look at this trajectory in recent months looks very different 
than the relationship between gold and U.S. interest rates, which is uh, has been pretty consistent historically, you can see that the correlation has been going towards zero, which is to say this relationship has become weaker in the most recent months. And that's because uh, you think about, uh, just as an example, if central banks, major central banks like the Fed and the Bank of England and the European Central Bank, um, if they're all talking about rate cuts coming up and uh, they're all talking dovishly, so to speak, but the Bank of England and the ECB are more dovish than Fed Chair Powell and the Fed, um, well, all of that dovish talk of lower interest rates might be good for gold, but that U.S. dollar might also stay strong relative to the rest of those currencies. So uh, definitely on the table that you can have a gold market at all-time highs and still a strong U.S. dollar market, what has been uh, more of a one-for-one -one relationship is that gold relative to interest rates. And definitely want to keep an eye if you are trading gold on those uh, interest rate markets because, again, everybody talking about cuts, we haven't seen those cuts yet, but if you start to see them come to fruition, might be more upside for gold. If they keep being pushed out in time, might be downside for gold. But for the time being, gold at all-time highs, not necessitating a U.S. dollar that's weakening, it's actually strengthening back to um, in some cases, you know, monthly highs or weekly highs. In some cases, uh, multi-year highs uh, against a number of major forex pairs.